Hello, Sagittarius. Ramble Mike here. Gonna play with some tarot cards again today. Hey, Sagittarius, I want to thank all of you that liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I do want to thank you, Sagittarius, for all of the wonderful comments that you uh, blessed me with. Thank you very much for that. And especially I want to thank all of you Sagittarius that reached out to me uh, for something more private. Anyway, I've been shuffling your cards here, Sagittarius. This will be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising from now to the middle of February. Shuffle it a little more here. A little more. Oh, look at that. Ace of Swords popped out. Gotta love that. Truth and clarity. Able to cut things off that no longer belong to you. Here we go. We're going to cut the deck. There we go. First card out. There you go. That's what you need truth and clarity about, Sagittarius. We got Sneaky running around. Sneaky showed up in the middle of your deck. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords always talks with me about liars, cheaters, Sneaky. You can see Sneaky here in this deck right here. Uh, he's got three swords, three swords in the tarot. Always talk with me about somebody with a broken heart. Two swords in the tarot. Always talks with me about somebody that's made a decision. So I see somebody here with a broken heart that's got a half-assed plan going on, uh, trying to be sneaky. Uh, they're looking at two swords right over here. Um, they've left evidence. I mean, Sagittarius, uh, I don't think Sneaky's pulling any wool over your eyes. And if not, they won't be after you, we watch Tarot. That's why we play with Tarot, huh? Forewarned, forearm. Let's see what crosses Sneaky right here. Yep. We got um, the Queen of Pentacles uh, crossing Sneaky. Uh, Queen of Pentacles is a uh, Earth sign. This would be... Taurus, uh, Virgo, Capricorn. And uh, all in all, this is an amazing uh, person. She uh, has a tendency to be uh, a great mother, loving, kind, uh, grounded. Uh, can be uh, the energy uh, that you are uh, walking in at this time. Sagittarius, even though uh, you're a fire sign, this is uh, absolutely as an energy of somebody that is grounded. Can be sneaky running around. We'll see as the cards play out. And to every person that's watching this, you know, source is talking with you as I'm talking with you. It's the beauty of tarot. But this is somebody that takes care of their body. They like to eat right. Uh, they may have some uh, sense of spirituality with a golden pear in her hand right there. Um, one thing's for sure, uh, the big coin. You know, the, the Queen of Pentacles is all about financial security and comfort. It's truly what she's all about. And, um, you know, as a down note on this, uh, she may use Mother's Little Helper. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's go on here. Bottom of the spread. We have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords uh, represents to, to me, well, it's somebody that's smart. Air always represents smart. Yet, this is somebody that uh, may have a tendency to rush into a situation and not be prepared for what they're getting into. Uh, you can see that represented in this card by this young person on the horse. They're holding the sword and probably the wrong hand for battle, uh, the uh, golden armor on the horse, you know, pretty, but not really strong armor, way too heavy, you know, for the horse to charge into battle fully. I can talk about being sharp with words, um, you know, easy, easy Sagittarius, you know. In your distant past, you have dealt with either somebody coming rushing into you or you rushing into the situation. So, you know, chill, chill here, Sagittarius. Let's see what's coming up. Or 
in the uh, recent past. We have the Emperor. It's a major arcana, major life force card. Now, the Emperor um, is absolutely the king's king in the tarot. He rules over the entire empire. Um, he is absolutely uh, stable with a big throne represented right there. Um, he's been in the battle, but he's no longer in the battle. It's a fire sign, represents, you know, Aries seated on the throne, uh, Sagittarius, Leo. It's a fire sign. This is somebody that can have that attitude of my way or the highway. It can be a little too stern. Can represent a father figure or somebody in a leadership position, a boss. Uh, but you've definitely been dealing with somebody that's uh, rather stern in the past, I would say. Let's go on and see what crowns this reading. Three of Cups crowns this reading. Three of Cups in the uh, classic tarot always talks about joy and happiness, always talks about meeting new and exciting people, talks about being invited to social events. Any social events that you might be invited to um, now through the middle of February, I would take them up on that. You might meet some new and exciting people at these uh, situations because you definitely, you definitely been dealing with sneaky here, you know. Now with sneaky here and three of cups, um, there may be some parties that you have not been invited to. Because uh, three of cups can always refer to the love triangle. I like to look at it as you raising your vibration, coming up to a higher level. We got three people here raising their cups, praising source, whoever that is to them. Coming up from this level of cornucopia, coming up to another level of cornucopia here, raising their vibration. But I'm telling you with this spread right here, Sagittarius, it doesn't look exciting to me with the liar cheater running around here with somebody that's possibly interested in the coin, somebody that comes rushing in and out to get what they want, a sharp with their words, and somebody that could possibly be with the attitude of my way or the highway. Let's go on with the spread, Sagittarius. You know, I always love to go up, 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 but tarot is all about being forewarned and forearmed. This could very well be where you see yourself at this particular point in time. I want you to stay grounded. I want you to stay spiritual. Keep your vibration high. That way we attract in nothing but the best. Let's go on with the spread here. Oh, there we go. Talking about attracting in nothing but the best for you Sagittarius. Pulled up the star card. This is a card of great hope, great faith. It's a card of healing. It's a card of uh, your dreams becoming reality. And I can see from this spread right here, um, you don't get the star card unless you've been through hellfire. Now, Sagittarius, you've been through hellfire. But I want you to keep your dreams high, like I was talking about with Three of Cups here. You know, the old traditional meaning of Three of Cups is, you know, flying high. Meeting new people, meeting new exciting people, going to events and things that are fun and enlightening and bring you happiness and joy right here, right here, Sagittarius. Because you may have been, you know, playing around with somebody that ain't playing right, you know. Uh, you know, Seven of Swords right here. We got, you know, this, this character's um, dressed like a jester. Um, and it's all fun and games to them, you know. Uh, let's get some fun and games for you, Sagittarius. That's what I'm talking about. And in the immediate future, we do have the star card coming in. Woo, love that for you. You know, wish upon a star. Dream big, Sagittarius. Uh, dream big. I like that. Let's see. Let's go on. Nine of Swords. Uh, how Sagittarius would see themselves. Mm, 
not sleeping, you know, not sleeping at night. Possibly, you know, you see the young lady there with the wringing of the hands. Anguish. The woulda, coulda, shouldas, you know, chill out. Chill out and relax. Chill out and relax, uh, Sagittarius, because something good is coming into you. See it the way that you want it to be. See your life the way that you want it to be, Sagittarius. You know, if you're dealing with, you know, my way or the highway, mm, I'm going the highway. You know, the highway is right over there, man. Heading out, you know. I want you staying rooted and grounded within yourself, you know. Don't be rushing in. Don't be using sharp words, you know. I'm telling you. How we do it and how we win is we walk in love, right? We walk in love with great hope and great faith. So get your sleep at night. Rest. Chill out. Chill out with a star card there. It's absolutely going to get better for you. Got a lot of people on your board here, Sagittarius. Uh, exterior influence. We have the... King of Swords. Uh, King of Swords is a mature person. You know, gender, don't place gender on any of this. This is somebody who's, they're smart. They are smart as a whip. And they have great strategy plans going through their head. You know, if you're going to be sitting up at night, then you be the great strategist of what's going on around you. Don't let somebody else call the shots for you. This is somebody that would like to call the shots. You know, it is an air sign. It's a general read, of course. But this is an air sign. It's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, and uh, they have uh, absolutely been trying to call the shots in your life. But I want you to focus on you, Sagittarius. And no, you know, this is a card of all of source being involved, helping you to manifest your dreams to come true. You know, don't let, you know, if you got a bully in your life, you know, if you got a bully in your life, and don't let them call the shots for what's going on around you, Sagittarius. You call the shots for you. What are the shots for you? Meeting new and exciting people. Going to exciting places, happy, happy, joy, joy is really what this card is about. And it crowns you right here. It crowns you right here in the midst of all this hellfire. Let's go on, Sagittarius. Uh huh. Uh, it doesn't surprise me that Nine of Wands would show up here. This is the wounded warrior. This is somebody that's been through the battle. And somebody that's prepared for more of the same battle coming in, you know. Definitely been going through a battle. But with the star card and with nine of wands, these wands that he has up around him are wands of passion. This this warrior right here, he's... He's not wounded in any way, shape, or form. As a matter of fact, you know, he's strong. You know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, huh? Right. And this guy is strong. He's strong. He knows what he wants. He has his nine wands of passion around him. He's taking the stuff that don't work, and he's thrown it out the back door. And he has prepared himself for his future. He is what I say. I mean, you can see him in this card. He is intently looking. He has his eyes wide open. This is somebody that's praying with their eyes wide open. Yeah, that's how we win anyway, right? Praying with their eyes wide open because he knows what he wants, you know. He's looking right at happy, joy, bliss, rising the vibration, going up, you know. And that's all over this board. It's all over this board for you to go up. The wounded warrior, he ain't no fool. He ain't no fool. He ain't nobody's fool. Good for you, Sagittarius. Outcome card, mm-hmm. 
It's a reevaluation card to me. It's Four of Cups. It is taking that time to look at the past, the present, and the projected future and deciding if you want to play with that at all. Not even paying attention to this fourth cup, you know, this special cup. So probably somebody, you know, that's special, special to you, you know, the, the destiny, you know, that you are even reevaluating them at this particular point in time. And rightly so, you know, as far as we know, this is the only life we get. Absolutely, you want to be doing what's best for you. Some healthy selfishness, some healthy selfishness. Taking a moment just to sit back and reevaluate the whole situation. It is not a bright, shiny reading. I love them to be like, ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. But sometimes, I mean, and to be honest with you, uh, uh, on the 31st of uh, January, we do have a full moon eclipse in Leo. Um, it's going to do a lot of shaking. We are in eclipse season. And in the middle of February, we have a lunar eclipse in Aquarius. Absolutely going through uh, eclipse season, where things can be eclipsed out of your life. Things that no longer serve you for your highest good, Sagittarius, can very easily be, clip, be eclipsed out of your life at this time. Making room for new things. Making room for bliss, happiness, joy, the star to come into your life. And this is absolutely what is in your future. The star card. Whew, yeah, man. So if you need to clear house, you know, clear house. If you need to tell somebody, take five, you know. If you need to tell us all sneaky, hey, we're taking five here. And tell them, take five, you know. Take five. Take five. Take five. Because I'm tired of I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of not sleeping. I'm tired of all the anxiety. And I am sure about myself. I am confident within myself. I, I like it for you, Sagittarius. I like it for you a lot. Good for you. Stand up and do what's best for you. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck, uh, we have the Princess of Cups. This is somebody that, in my opinion, in my opinion, that is very young and immature with how they love. It can talk about messages of love coming in for you. Let's put that with the star card. Huh? But ultimately, with the spread that I'm looking at right here, this is somebody that is rather immature with their spirituality because this young princess right here is very spiritual or growing in her spirituality and, and very immature in her love. She's not the queen of cups. She's not the king of cups. She is the princess of cups. Very young energy in the area of love. So, you know, you may be dealing with somebody that is immature in their love, you know, and, and if, if they're not playing right with you, yeah, man, take five. That's what I have to say to you. Take five if you need to take five. They may need to grow up in their love walk. Let's see what the love cards have to say for you here. Hey, Tara, let's uh, tell Sagittarius what they need to know most for their highest good in the area of love and relationships. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, healing family issues. Many of you, this can have to do with the family. You know, those roots, they run deep and they're, uh, they're the most challenging. We all know that. Healing family issues. Heal yourself. Love yourself, Sagittarius. Let's see what else we got. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, we did get sneaky right in the middle of your spread right here. Deception. That I mean, this is the beauty of tarot. Forewarned, forearmed. Let's go in. Let's walk in love, but let's not let nobody uh, wipe their feet on us like we're their doormat. No, thank you. No, thank you. Um, somebody's wearing a mask. 
But, you know, Sagittarius knows that already. And Sagittarius is believing for nothing but the best for themselves, you know. Rock on, Sagittarius. Rock on. One more tarot, please. One more for Sagittarius. Come on, let's give them something bright and shiny here. Attraction. Absolutely. Use the law of attraction. Be in the moment. See the moment. Use law of attraction to attract what you do want. Because many times we don't know what we do want until we know what we don't want. Obviously, there's something that we don't want here. Mm -hmm. Take a minute and relax and draw on what you do want. Happiness, joy, bliss, raising of the vibration, going up. You're going up, Sagittarius. You're going up. Let's do uh, one major for Sagittarius. Thank you, Tara. One major for Sagittarius. A lover's card. Mm -hmm. Definitely um, trouble in paradise. The, the lover's card isn't your fairy tale card to me. It is a major arcana. Let me see the majors that we have on the board. This would be Gemini. This would be Aries. Uh, the only two majors that... Uh, no, this is Aquarius. Aries, Aquarius, Gemini are majors on the board. That may mean nothing to a lot of you. may mean something to a lot of you. Anyway, back to the lover's card. It's not your fairy tale card at all. Absolutely talks about choices. That's old school tarot. Choices. There are three people in this card right here. But it definitely talks about the polar opposites of soulmates. Soulmates always got lots of life lessons involved with them. And here we got... The folly of the man. I mean, his tree's just burning up. Uh, we got the seductiveness of the woman with this, you know, the snake and the apple. We got both of them nude. The vulnerability that uh, we need to uh, expose ourselves to to walk in love. Uh, we have to be vulnerable. It's got source up here working with us. It's got Eden in the middle, and it's always, this card is always about the closing of the gap. The closing of the gap, Sagittarius. It's going to be a very interesting month for all of us, Sagittarius. I did enjoy my time with you. Thank you for sharing your time with me. I hope that this was enlightening to you. It's definitely a forewarned, forearmed spread for the first half of February, for many of you. I want to tell you I love you, Sagittarius. You're absolutely one of my favorite Zodiacs. Namaste, love and light. I will talk to you soon, Sagittarius. Bye for now.